Well, hello. Hey. Hi. Uh, we're back some property we were at back in November of 2019. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, just click up in the top right hand corner up there as it just scrolled up there. There you go. Just go click on that if you haven't seen it. This town was established about 1803, 1806, somewhere around there. So uh, we're going to get at it. And uh, we've been down here before. We found a lot of good stuff, some silver. Uh, Chris found an awesome silver ring. We want to get a buffalo on. nickel too. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. First yeah. one. I didn't find any silver coin, but I did find a buffalo nickel, but it's just easily forgotten. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find on this property and in this old town. I got a 12 gauge shotgun head stamp. These are neat to find because these, these things can be old. Shotguns go back to the 1800s. Uh, I can't read it right now. Pretty neat though. I see 12 right there and it almost says like LAX maybe right there. But anyway. Okay. I got a 20 gauge right here. 20 gauge and it says monarch right there i don't know when they made those but pretty cool 20 gauge all right chris might have something up here let's see what you got i don't know big piece of glass i don't know if it's a whole piece or not oh, wow. i know you're into you're into jar this is what was in the hole that's what got me to dig the hole okay yeah I don't know. I've seen that, and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna try to dig that out and get it out in one piece." Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, right there, man. I know you're you're into jars. Yeah, and bottles. Trying to get yeah. into them. So I'm gonna try to dig this out. I don't know if you wanna come back to us or. Oh, I will wait. It might take a while because I don't know how big this is. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's fine. There's the end of it. Oh, I think it's broke. Right yeah, it's broke. Oh, okay. Huh, still interesting though. It has a just old broke piece of glass. 90 degree angle on it. I don't know what that could have been. There we go. Okay. Alright. I got something here. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's got these little grooves in it right here. Y'all see those little grooves? It's not heavy. I don't know what that is. I'll just go show that to Chris and Jacob in a little bit. But It's got a little it's got a little hole in the bottom. I don't know. I don't recognize that. I thought it was a uh, actual shell or a piece of lead. It struck something when I pulled it out. So I cleaned out the hole and then seen those little grooves in it. But they're on the bottom and the top. So I'll ask them in a minute. But if y'all recognize it, let me know in the comments. Alright, here we go. We're going to play this little game. Y'all remember? The 26. Mm. 26. Okay, I'm going with a nickel again. I couldn't even get a nickel for that if I took it to sell it. <laughs> Weedy. It's never, no, it's not. It's okay. Not. It's, it's not. never come up that low. Really? Uh, normally, uh, lowest it'll come up is a 78, 77, 78. That was a 70? 70, 71. It's 83 penny. Oh, that's why. Zinc. Zinc will read lower than copper will. Yeah. Yep. We're on a we're on a permission here. We just got it here on the corner. Here in, on in this town. It's one of the corner houses and one we've been trying to get for a while. And uh the homeowner just happened to step out. Hey. Got a makeup compact. Princess Pat? Huh. The uh, homeowner said that this house was built in 1889. And uh, a judge in this county, one of the 
most popular judge back in the day used to live here and uh pretty interesting learning a little history about this house because we didn't really know anything about it but that's yeah, pretty cool right there princess pat chicago very neat princess pat okay there's a old ring off of some sort of horse tack something good got me a horseshoe the barn right there i'm about 25 feet from it i found that that's okay let's show that to the homeowner what you got there it's a type of paint jar like some kind of land on it don't it yeah like a some type of soldier and it says duplo color duplo color registered u.s patent but it goes off on the metal detector yeah let's hear it So maybe it's lead paint. So pick up the AT Pro. Or AT Gold. Oh, yeah. Sure does. Huh. Interesting. Alright, I think we figured out what the middle part was. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's why she was sounding off. What is that? Is that like hair or something in there? It's the brush. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. That's the brush. Come on, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all. We're going to have to have some help from our audience. Y'all ever seen one of them things before? Because I ain't. Jacob hasn't. Mm -mm. We ain't asked Chris yet. Well, he is older than us. He might know what it is. <laughs> we'll ask the old man. Yeah, we'll ask the old man. He might know what it is. <laughs> I don't know, that's something that's interesting though. It almost looks like, see, when he brought it up to me, I thought it was a wrench. He had a wrench in his hand right there. But it ain't a wrench. I found Goliath's ring. There it is. <laughs> a general store across the street. Really? Holy cow, that's a six, is that a six ounce? I don't know. That's that thing I found, I don't know what it is. Hmm. Some sort of electrical part, I guess. That's that makeup compact. Okay. See, I got one that's a little smaller. I'll have to show it to you. Yeah, it looks like it's got like a little leafy design. Like a, like a, what do they call that? A reef band? A reef band, yeah, something like that. Well, I found this. I don't know what it is, but it's one of them Japanese coins. You know how they got the hole in them? Really? You found one? Yeah. You found one? <clears throat> that's so funny. Japanese coin. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got a hole in it. Ain't they? Ain't them got holes in them? Yeah. I don't know if it had writing on or anything. My eyes ain't that good. But I think I it's like a washer. I think it's a washer. A washer. Wash. Washer. Washer. One of them Japanese coins got a hole in it. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and try to spend it. There you go. But they say the bigger the hole, the more it is. That's probably half a dollar right there. Probably. I'll tell you something interesting. Here's the side porch of the whole home place and right there next to the stinking steps i got a part of a horseshoe how about that now i guess they used to park him right here and let him hang out and eat grass and they went in the house so pretty neat and a little fine there it's cool right, i got something kind of interesting it's a uh, that thing's heavy i don't think it's lead though <laughs> It's the shape of a spoon. Bottom of it kind of looks, it's kind of got that convex, concave look to it, but it's no bowl. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Unless it been a handle or something, maybe. All right. What do y'all think it is? Holy cow. Look at here what Jake found when Chris hands it to me. Oh, uh, yeah. I almost went in the barn, but I decided not to. Did you have to dig it? Look at that. Yeah. Just, just laying right on top of the ground. That's so Had crazy. to pry it up, pop it out of the dirt. Man, that's Eagle cool. Hunting. It looks like World War One. Holy cow, we gotta get some pictures of that in case yeah, he wants I, it. And I found the the uh, Morse code thing there that went with that button. He was in he was in there typing. Oh, he was in there yeah, typing. He was in there typing. Yeah, yeah he uh, he went to to get up and yep. it got snagged. I got, broke it. Got <laughs> I'm an idiot and I broke it, but it looks like one of those little 
Morse code things. I don't know if it might be. Telegraph. 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 Yeah, man. But that right there is cool. We clean that up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Still got the shank on the back. See, hey, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, now you're gonna give me my well, stuff back. Clean it. You got something cool? No, I gotta clean it. <laughs> you're just gonna give me my stuff. Well, back. I was cleaning yours too. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I don't even want to go with Jacob no more. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's almost getting ridiculous. This you know? is crazy, we don't man. Find crap. We bring him out. He finds all the cool stuff all the time. So right now, he's got he gets to keep the button he didn't bring or the the, the pendant he didn't bring. It's gonna be hard to beat that for the coolest item. I don't know. I think I got him with that horseshoe. <laughs> Son, that is a cool find. That's probably that's that right there is right there next to that pendant I found. That ball field. Oh man, yeah. Did you find it here? No. Okay. Across the street. That's where I found this in across the street over there. Dang, that's an old car. That's cool. I like that. Man. We uh, finally got me a coin. Been going all day long. It's like 145 or something like that or 130. And I got one out here. I hope it's a wheat cent so we can add to our collection. I mean, I honestly, I wish it was a. Indian head, but all right. I see your front on it. I think it's a 1911, Chris. I think it's a 1911. <laughs> I may be wrong, but you got a modern? Oh, yeah, I got a weedy. It's a weedy. We got that confirmed. So that's next. The next move is let's see what the date is. I think it's a 1941. <laughs> I think it's a 42 though. Hang on a minute. Is it a 1911, 1941, or 1942? Uh, no, it's a 42. Philadelphia mint. <laughs> I guess it ain't worth nothing since it don't have a mint mark. <laughs> That's for you, Daisy. Oh man, well, not too bad so far. It's the oldest coin, forty-two. What you got? An old axe head. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, what we got here, Chris? I have no idea, but it's small and it's coin size. But I don't know what it is. I mean, you get a get clear view. It's like dime size, but yeah, it is. Let's see. I hope that's a bell seal. Hmm. It rang up as a nickel though, so it's not yeah. copper. That is very interesting. <clears throat> Did a button maybe flattened out back? Hang on, I think I see words. I see something. Here, hold on a second. I got another penny. Man, this would be cool if it was an Indian. Oh. <laughs> it's not. I want to find an Indian that penny, but I can't. But it's a 1940 wheat penny. <laughs> I think I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that uh, coin back today. Mm. You better get on. Well, I, I've been finding all the coins right in here. Apparently, a bunch of youngins used to play right here and drop it everything. 1940. I get the train on there. A train? That's what I thought. I don't know. It rings up a nickel. Really? Yeah, rub it in here. Looks like it's got an S on it. That's what. See, I thought that. See, I thought it had something look like something, something words on it S. too. Rub it in front of this bad boy. Or a five. Solid fifty forty nine fifty. Huh. That's a nickel on my machine. Yeah. We need to clean that thing up. Huh? That's either a, that almost looks like a train. If you look at it like that. I hey, that I think it does have something on it. That's a design of a train or a building or something. Yeah. There's something to that. Yeah, there, yeah. There's something to that. One. You might have the most interesting find of the day.
No. Uh, Eagle Button's got it. The Eagle Button's going to have yeah, it. Gonna have to I'm going to get the coin. The guy who used to live there was in World War One. Really? Yep. That's what he said. He said, yeah, the old man used to live there. It died there. He said he was in World War One. That was his uniform button then. Yep. All right. If you can see the building in front of me. That is a uh, old Masonic Lodge. And what I was told is it is the oldest standing Masonic Lodge building in South Carolina besides the one in Charleston. The oldest standing. Of course, you know, it's not being used, but the oldest standing one. So, kind of neat. Found this, uh, this, little, this little piece right here. I don't know what it is, though. It's tough digging here. It's really, really, really hot today. And, uh, man, the poison oak is everywhere right in there. You see that? So, so we probably won't be doing much digging here today, but we do have future permission to come into here. So I'm thinking it's going to be back in the wintertime digging right here. All right, I found a quarter of five pennies of dime in that little thing there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he found some clad. Now this yes. is, again, this one I think is the coolest one. It's, it's got a little train on it. It might be a button. I don't know what it is. Now, as y'all see, we did find some other stuff today, but uh, the homeowner wanted it, so we gave it to him. A nice little toy truck. It is a cool little truck, man. What does it say on the front? I don't know. Rhino. It does say Rhino. Rhino. I kind of like Chino better. Oh, <laughs> Chino. Chino. Got a fan on. That's a Mexican truck. Yeah, 12 gauge round. Sorry, we got a lot of traffic on the main road. Just a few coins. Yeah. Nothing special. Man. Nothing special. Can't believe it, though, honestly. And then World War One button. Yeah, found the World War One button and those compacts mm -hmm. and that horseshoe, the nice horseshoe that would have looked really good on my bar. Got this uh, big old washer. <laughs> that thing, that coming over next to that old uh, Masonic Lodge. Modern penny, modern nickel, 42 weedy, 1940. Let y'all confirm it, okay? 1940 weedy. All right, give me my medallion, Chris. All right, well, now that mess, uh, Stephen finally, finally found the <laughs> oldest dated item. So, finally, I've got to give the coin up after about what three or four trips, I guess. Yep. He was uh, he he took the the wheat king and everything away from me today because I didn't find a single wheat. So, Stephen, there's your. Uh, coin we appreciate it yep and i think uh, it's the first time that i've gotten this since we since i found the uh the mercury dime last year and seeing how i drove it's a long walk back see you. <laughs> <laughs> all right well hey we appreciate you watching yep and we'll get back with you next week see you bye